today. Calmer weather may tempt people into local rivers and lakes, but in Fresno County, the Kings and San Joaquin rivers are closed to recreational users. If you decide to go in the water, you face risk to your safety and potential fines. Action News reporter Kate Nemerich joins us now with warnings on the waters. Kate. Graciela Warren, we are on the Madera County side of the San Joaquin River to give you an idea of what it looks like on the Fresno County side. Now from here up into that low brush back there, this is normally park area. It's not normally covered in water beyond that. That's where the San Joaquin River normally is. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office has closed the San Joaquin and Kings Rivers because of the ongoing heavy rainfall and the runoff in the county. No matter your experience level, they say you need to stay out of the water. Fast moving water, rivers rising beyond their banks, and no way of knowing what's under the surface. Those dangers and continuing rain and water runoff prompted the Fresno County Sheriff's Office to close the Kings and San Joaquin rivers within the county. This is a matter of truly life or death. Um, if people are out on the river and they find themselves in danger or in need of help, emergency help, we have to send our crews out there to rescue them. On Sunday afternoon, deputies responded to a call of five people floating in a raft down the San Joaquin. The sheriff's office says they flew overhead and asked the group to leave the river. A mile down the river, they eventually got out, says law enforcement. The group reportedly didn't know about the closure, but each was fined. Captain Ryan Hashaw says no matter your experience level, the water is unsafe. The water coming through our river system at this time is moving uh, very swiftly. There's a lot of power behind that water. It's also very cold, extremely cold. The water on the surface uh, may appear to be serene and calm, but underneath it, there could be a number of hazards. People familiar with the river say the decision to close it is wise. Because of the channel right now and how wide it is, I don't think people realize if there's a tree in front of them or something that they can get caught up in. And once they get caught up in it, it's, you know, it'll pull you under. Deputies will be enforcing these closures and doing patrols. If you're caught in the water, you could be cited and face a fine of a minimum of $225. Live at the San Joaquin River, I'm Kate Nemerich, ABC 30 Action News.